So he was asking if we issue a permit, do we make sure that they that's all that they um, take? So just briefly, the way we issue our permits, um, they're issued to a user considering a one in 10 year drought scenario. So the amount of water they would need um, if they experienced a one in 10 year drought. Um, with that, most of our producers, because we're not in those conditions all the time, most of them are using under their allocation. Um, in many cases, it's well under their allocation. Um, we do have a water use monitoring program. Um, right now it's voluntary and we use that data for planning purposes. Um, but beyond that, we'll, we will delve deeper into a permit if, if we see there's an issue, but um, off the cuff, you know, we, we, you, because of the way the quantities are issued, we usually don't see people using above their allocation. Yeah, so those, those things all go through our model and, and we look at the way that withdrawal will affect um, the natural system and try to mitigate for that effect through planning and projects. guys do uh, groundwater and mineral rights in Florida? Someone may own the land, but who owns the stuff under the land? I would have to research to be able to answer that question. I don't know. Yeah. We, I, I, yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I don't work with that aspect of the district. They do water. Oh, we can ask for you. It's a good question, okay. Brett. Thanks for all the good science and taking care of the yeah. Oh, and I was going to add, um, so we have, if you go on our website, you can see, and this might be really beneficial for y'all since you're paddling down the river, you can see where we have water quality stations um, that we monitor the water quality uh, constantly. And if you go on our website, you can pull up the data in real time. So whenever you're at the springs um, this upcoming tomorrow, I guess, um, look on your phone, pull up the data, and you can see all of the information that our scientists see. So. And water levels as well. Yes, sir. Is there any shale oil under Florida? And what's your stand concerning hydraulic fracturing? I cannot answer that for you because I am a communication person. And I'm not sure if I am valid at that. Repeat the question for the folks. So the question, make sure I get it right, is: um, Is there any shale oil in Florida? And what is our position on hydraulic? Fracking. Okay, so I'm going to repeat what she said. <laughs> um, my background is with uh, the community affairs, so I liaison between the district and the local governments. Um, so I don't know that I'm the best person to address that question. Um, as far as the stance on it, it would go through our regulatory process like any other um, industry. And like we mentioned, we can um, we can get you some information on that if you have more questions and. It will certainly affect water quality, that's why I asked. And our scientists do monitor all of that aspects. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, they are the main people who, who are over us in a sense. Um, we are localized though, and I think Ben can talk more about that since he does do community affairs. So again, make sure I get the question right. The question was, he mentioned um, kind of how the system is set up in Georgia for wastewater treatment. Did I any, any, any discharge to the water um, and, and ask how we handle that here in Florida. Is that a good summary? Okay. So for, for most of the water quality aspects, um, water quality is one of our core mission areas, um, but we support that 
um, as a function of the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, which would be Georgia's EPD, their state counterpart here in Florida. Um, they would be the ones to permit that um, from from a water from the perspective of water coming out into the river. Um, we would permit it if it's a withdrawal from the ground. So if they're pulling that water out of the ground, we permit it at that point, um, and then support the DP in their function permitting the, the water quality when it goes back into the system. We, we do a lot of projects um, with stormwater, capturing that stormwater, treating it, um, and then trying to um, get it to recharge uh, back into our groundwater systems. I got one. Lindsey, Ben, thanks a bunch for being here tonight. We appreciate it and, and appreciate the work y'all do to help us get our water. And we are loving y'all's water this week. Yeah. Having a lot of fun on it. All right, um, we are.